make sure to be in more than one folder, I'd have to duplicate that image. And it would double the amount of storage space it takes up to use it. So using it up here in folders to organize my images, and that's just from my general shoots that I've done. But collections is where I actually organize things. What I can do in collections is these are virtual folders. If I create a collection and I drag a photograph into that collection, that photo is not moved on my hard drive at all. It just remembers where it is on my hard drive without actually moving it. I can have a same photograph in as many collections as I'd like, and it doesn't take up any additional space on my hard drive. It simply remembers where the um, image is stored. And so the way I set up my collections is I have here some projects, uh, like I'm writing some ebooks. So here I create a collection for ebooks. Inside, I have here for my light painting ebook images and my waterfall uh, images, because I'm doing an ebook on waterfalls. I can do here shooting suggestions is a talk that I would like to give, and I, but I need to get enough images together for it. So here I have a little uh, container for that, and I'll put in ones uh, for uh, various ideas I'd like to talk about. If I was on my main computer, this list would be much longer. Right now, it's only showing collections that contain the photos I'm using for this class. It's not showing all my uh, collections I have from my main machine. Um, then I also have, there's something called a smart collection, which I'll show you in a moment. A smart collection, in essence, is a saved search. So you know how I could search for images that have five stars and have a rating, or not a rating, a uh, label of done or a label of in progress or one of those others? I can save those as searches in here. So if I go to the one called Work Me, and in here, this is where I could, um, if I have a few minutes of time, I feel like going to Lightroom and working a bit, right here is where I could click and look at images to evaluate. If I don't want to use too much of my mind to do things, I just want to visually look at uh, raw photos that haven't been refined, I could click there and see all of them that have been had that um, label applied to them. I could go over here to ones that are in progress that I know need some work. I could go to print testing. If I go into my gallery and find an image that I say, oh, there's something that needs to be changed on this image, I can pull it off the wall, come and find that image because it will definitely be in print testing, uh, or that kind of stuff. And so let's look at how you can set these up and organize your pictures with them. If I go to collections here, go to the side menu, um, I can create a collection or I can create a collection set. A collection set is a, the equivalent to a folder that can only contain collections. It's a container for collections. Can't actually contain pictures. So let's say I'm going to do a new project. So I'll here do create collection set. And I'll name this one gallery show. I don't need all caps though. Gallery show. And I'm going to hit create. So now I have a new collection set called gallery show. A collection set cannot contain photographs. It can only contain collections. So now that doesn't do anything all by itself. But if I go back up to that plus sign and now say create collection, I can tell it to put it inside the collection set called gallery show. And I'm going to call this landscapes. Hit create. Then I'll create another one. And I'll call this light painting. Light paintings. Put it inside the collection set called gallery show. And then maybe I'll do another one. So now I'm starting to organize and think about if I were to have a gallery show, how might I organize the different areas of that gallery? On one wall, maybe I want to have some landscapes. On another wall, I want to have light paintings. And on another wall, I want images from Route 66. Now, all of the images I'm going to use for these various things would be stored in various folders up here. I could come in here and see if I can find uh, an image in any of these. That would be a light painting uh, or be in Route 66. I think I have one Route 66 image right here. This image was shot on Route 66. I shot it uh, in October of 2011. 